to come with all their papers. The first instance last uh, last week when we met, uh, unfortunately the developers were unable to attend the meeting. We were surprised that FCT went ahead with the money. But again, that's a different case. So when they come on Thursday, we we'll sit down with them, both the officials of the uh, FCT and the developers. We want to ask why we're just asking the money. The okay. allegation is that uh, the, the land was allocated to National Assembly members. That is not true because you are talking of a new district. And in every district you have more than 3,000 um, residential plots. So I will 3,000 plots the land to National Assembly members. There is no doubt National Assembly members were doing it. Plot. But that was not the essence of our going there. And that was not a good uh, no reason to demolish the past. We stopped the uh, papi from being demolished. Are you not aware? We went to Pape and we told them not to demolish Pape. In this one, uh, this estate when there are nobody, uh, we are still under construction. So we invited all the parties. Unfortunately, the FCC didn't wait before they commenced the money. But they are coming back on Thursday to come and tell us why they went ahead to the money. And, and on the other hand, the developers will come and provide to us the type of document that they have. Because the FCC is saying that they were illegal structures. The developers are saying that they have valid papers. So the developers and the FCT officials will meet us on Thursday and will sit on the round table and uh, get to know who is at fault. Okay, sir, of course, will you see who are Judgment. Well, if, there, if, there, if there's the need to compensate them, and if there's the need for FC to pay damages, they will pay damages. If we can, if we come to the conclusion that those structures were um, uh, wrongfully demolished, then we can compel FCT to to pay for compensation.